Hey folks, Dave the Not-So-Evil, Evil Viking 13 here. Welcome to the conclusion of The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. We have defeated the Butcher of Beauclair, the vampire Detlef. We've also uncovered that Siana's original plan, the sister of the Duchess, was to actually kill her sister. I assume that that would then involve taking the crown of the duchy for herself, obviously. So, all that's left to do before we accept our medals for our witching is to go Stop confront Siana about her plan. As you guys can see, no, Geralt is dressed up like a dandy for the occasion. Got my fancy outfit here for the award ceremony. Hopefully, Siana won't attack me um, when I confront her because I'm not well armored at all. Wow, this is taking a long time. Let me get my horse here. Come on, Roach. Let's speed this up just a bit. Although, as I mentioned last time, it's nice to see Beauclair once again not on fire and besieged by various vampires and monsters. Watch it. And there is the palace, formerly of the Elven Nation, that existed here before humans arrived. I don't think we're going all the way to the top just yet if we're confronting Siana. Let's see. Oh, nope, we are. We're going all the way to the top. Well, maybe we'll get a good sunrise out of it. Alright, Roach. Stay here. Not gonna ride a horse up into the palace proper. There it is, guys. There's that sunrise. Time for a thumbnail screenshot. Man alive, this game is beautiful. Oh, I need to meditate. Got no potions left, just in case. There's that full sunrise. I think we go in here. This must be where they're holding Siana. Nope, up we go. Ooh. Hello, feast. I'm just gonna help myself while I'm down here. I mean, come on, I ate a lot of food fighting Detlef. The kingdom owes me. Now. Halt! Need to see Siana urgently. In the matter of? Want to talk to her? It's important. Want to talk? Go see your gran at tea time. Not one locked up on the Duquesa's orders. No doing without special permission. Period. Found some information important to her case. Need an explanation. Urgently. Ah, fine then. You're that witcher who solved the murders, no? Then you for my permission, but only for a few minutes. Promise to be brief. All right, guys, we have access. Oh, that statue freaked me out in the corner. The Witcher will speak with the inmate. You can take a momentary break. As long as it's truly but a moment. Highly irregular, this. Have you come to see how I fare? I'm fine, thank you. Artorius' ribbon worked wonders. It's a shame they took it from me. I for... know who the fifth victim was supposed to be. Goodness, you're simply a compulsive snoop. I'm in prison. Deadlaf is dead. Could you not just drop it? 
Sienna, stop pretending you couldn't care less. I know it's an act, and it's really starting to wear. Why do you want to kill her? For such an accomplished investigator to ask about the obvious? Come now, Geralt. Why do you think? And the Curse of the Black Sun is more of a myth. She definitely envies her. But from her perspective... She did turn her back on her sister, so... Because she turned her back on you? Then banished all memory of you? Bravo, Geralt. Yet another riddle solved, and your sick curiosity sated. Well, what now? Off to share your discovery with Anna Henrietta. Oh, she's no longer in danger, true. But she very well might add a little something to your reward. Definitely gonna tell her. Not necessarily for the coin, though. Then why do it at all? She oughta know. If only cause you'll probably try to kill her again if she ever lets you out. I probably will. Perhaps, just for a second, you could stop dwelling on all the wrongs folk have done you, and forgive her? Why should I? For old time's sake. You loved each other once. <sighs> Please. I don't know who fed you that rubbish, but... Read your governess's diary. You played together, were inseparable. Honoria'd get you into trouble sometimes, sure. But there were also times she stood up for you. When you had nightmares, only she could calm you. Time eats away at memories, distorts them. Sometimes we only remember the good. Sometimes only the bad. If she loved me so, why did she wash her hands off me? Forget me, hmm? Sienna, you were exiled when she was how old? Twelve? Thirteen? She was a child. What was she supposed to do? Rebel? Organize a coup? Steal your father's seal and forge a pardon? She was powerless. Wiped you from her memory not because she didn't care, but because your departure was traumatic for her. She forgot because that was the only way she could handle the pain. Ugh, you really want a happy ending, don't you? <laughs> yes. Ugh, with all of us living happily ever after. Go, Witcher, or they'll give your medal to another. And that would be a shame. Farewell, Sienna. Manta de la Tour would like to see you. Shall we go at once? Let's go. Want to see him too. Damien. Get out. It's about time. Ready for the ceremony. I'm not going to tell Damien. I'm going to tell the Duchess herself, I think. All right. We can start. Very well. But you must behave. Less like a hired thug, and more like a man deserving of the Duchess's highest honor. In fact, you'd do best to maintain a dignified silence throughout. Let's begin the ceremony. Come with me. The Duchess awaits. In the Guild's name, I beg your assistance, your enlightened highness. Without barrels, 
Production will come to a stop, and it will be the end of us. You lost them all in the fire. These are horrible tidings. Oh, we are most dreadfully saddened. Yes, your enlightened highness all. Once the beasts had clawed their way into the warehouse, the whole place went up in flames. I shall dispatch a palace guardsman to examine the site of the blaze. If things are as you say, fitting compensation shall be paid from the Ducal Treasury. Thank you, your enlightened highness. Your Grace, Geralt of Rivia has arrived. My dear subjects, we come now to our next point of business. Of all the duties which fall upon my shoulders, as the ruler of this dominion, this duty is dearest to my heart. For now, we shall award the Order of Vitis Vinifera, Tucson's highest honor. Geralt of Rivia, Slayer of the Beast of Beauclair, step forth. We bestow the distinction upon the Witcher, who saved Beauclair from the terrible beast. Such is our desire. May this symbol serve as a reminder to all that the Witcher shall forever remain a friend of Beauclair. In more familiar terms now, I thank you immensely, Geralt. Damien has your reward for you. After all, it was but a contract. Thank you. I have a small surprise for you, in addition. I give you more than a dozen barrels of Son Real, a wine normally reserved for the Ducal table. The gustatory experience of a lifetime awaits. Are you content? Okay, guys, it's time to warn her. I am, and truly grateful, Your Grace. Sadly, I'm afraid I have to sour the mood. It's Sienna. She plotted to have you killed, Duchess. Planned to use Dedloff. You were to be the Beast's fifth victim. This cannot be true. You're mistaken. You must be. I have proof. I do not believe it. In a moment, I shall speak to Siana. Will you assist me? You returned my sister to me, yet what you tell me now, I find devastating. I've come to doubt that I can judge her fairly. I'd far prefer to learn you're mistaken, Geralt. I'm not. In fact, I'd recommend you be particularly careful around her. You exaggerate, Witcher. She is my sister. I know well how to speak to her. If my presence will help in any manner, of course I'll stay. We shall now question a person implicated in the murders which recently ravaged our fair city of Beauclair. Captain de la Tour, show Sylvia Anna in. The Witcher will take part in our talk. The Duchess requested I be present. You have committed crimes. Grave crimes. Yet you are my sister. And my heart does not allow me to treat you as a common criminal. 
Nor does it let me believe you sought my demise. My heart yearns to know you were swayed by the monster Detlav. You yourself would never stoop so low. Thus I have asked Geralt to advise me. As one impartial, I shall now hear what he has to say. Let's see if I can mediate here, guys. Bitterness consumes Siana. She had cause to resent many of the court of Beauclair. I know her reasons, understand them even. But I can't condone the actions she chose to take. What is he talking about, Siana? You know exactly what. I was forcibly exiled, remember? To your benefit. You knew well the throne would then be yours, though I was the elder. The ministers I can understand. They'd hated me since I was a child, thought me a poor prospect for the wife of a duke. I even understand our parents. I'd always sensed the problem. They simply feared me, for I dared to be free. That fabricated curse, it fell into their laps. A gift from above that brought relief. But you... Your dagger hurt most. You were my honorietta, dammit. Darling little sister. Now do you understand, Witcher? She betrayed me. You were children then. You and your sister both had no control over what happened. You're wrong, Witcher. She had control. Remember, dear sister, the day they banished me from the palace. Of course, I'd had the idea to pelt the Nilfgaardian envoy with fish bladders, which we filled with rancid suet on a lark. And which you set afire at the last, to impress me, I imagine. And I admit, you did. Hit him right in his hideous bald patch. Never laughed so hard in my life. But when it came time to find the culprit, you said not a word. I took all the blame and all the punishment. It's true. I did not stand up for you. I was too afraid. The council was unanimous. They listed all my offenses, my flights from the palace, supposed acts of cruelty, inappropriate friendships. They cast me out, but you, the only one to understand me, you cowered in a corner, lifted not a finger to help. Not before, not after. You never tried to find me. That's not true. I searched for you, sent out knights, gathered tidings from without. You did not wish to be found. Since the day you vanished, I have lived with the knowledge that I failed you. I'm sorry, dear sister. Can you forgive me? ceremony it was short perhaps for you as you ducked out early the others are probably just getting started the drunkenness never ends in this quaint realm not so fond of Toussaint after all are we oh this place is like a strong wine Geralt good in small sips <laughs> How do you find my personal brew? 
Not too strong. Just right. Credit the local mandrake of the Alrauna diabolus variety for that. The tubers which grow in this area's volcanic soil have an altogether unique flavor profile and display a remarkably uncommon dark brown tint. Fascinating. All I can say is this batch turned out excellent. Indeed. It might be wise to stockpile some roots for the future. Would you care to accompany me? You decide to go root picking now? It's dark out. Ah, oh, Geralt. Even were I generously to assume it had simply slipped your mind that I am a vampire and thus need no light to see, I'd never believe you had also forgotten that you likewise have absolutely no trouble seeing in the dark. So, shall we? Well, he makes a good point. <laughs> if you think it's a good idea, let's go. But I think you might be forgetting one thing. Fresh mandrake root of this variety is highly toxic, even to a witcher. Ah, not a problem. I never forget matters of safety and hygiene in alchemy. Here, gloves and a mask. Don them, and you shall be in no danger. Thanks. Right then, let's go. Okay. Let's make sure that we're wearing the right equipment for this. There's the mask. Well, that's terrifying. Like our World War I gas mask. And gloves for picking Mandrake. This moonlight makes me oh so dreamy. Penny for your thoughts. Let me guess. Succubus twins? Uh, no, I was thinking about... Oh, how anything can look interesting when properly lit. Even an old necrophage corpse? You've not an ounce of refinement in you, have you? Well, because I can't see well in the dark, even if Geralt can, let's take a cat eye potion. There we are. Now let's find us some mandrake root. Okay, now where's the last one? You only need two. Oh, wait. Loot. Gold plate. Yes, please. Seriously, though, where is the last mandrake root? There you are. Now, where'd that bloodsucker go? Won't be easy to track down. He's a vampire, after all. Regis! Where'd you go? Ha, ah, footprints. Regis! Damn it, where'd you go? You need your hands against the vampire! Yes, I did! I did what I had to do! Death in the house! What is happening here? I can't see. Time for another cat potion. Never forget it. Never 
Bruxay, they called you a traitor. Alas, we have a very simple code of honor, we vampires. So simple you might call it trivial. Either one is with us, unconditionally, regardless of the circumstances, or... Won't let it go, will they? They will not. Fortunately, we have another rule. An unwritten one, and just as trivial as the first. It is neatly summarized in the saying... Out of sight, out of mind. That is why I must leave Toussaint. For a vastly long time, most like. Yeah, I get it. <sighs> Let us make for my camp. I have an overwhelming desire to have another drink. Hmm. Rough choices for Regis here. Mmm. Supreme bouquet. Firm, defined beginning, then develops gently, rising to a, a startling finish. Don't you think? Not much of a connoisseur. Then it is high time you started your education. After all, the Corvo Bianco vineyard is now yours. By the way, I left a gift for you at your new home, on the nightstand. <laughs> Thanks. Mind telling me what it is? Ugh, a trifle. That will nonetheless be useful should you need mutagens. Incidentally, have you thought about what you'll do with your prize? Shall you hang your swords over the mantle and take to pruning vines? Geralt was made hunt monsters. I think he understands now that's what he's good at, what he was called to do. But at the same time, I think he deserves a rest. So, I'm gonna go with Undecided for now. Uh, don't really know yet. Might find the life of a hard-working vintner too tempting one day. Or maybe I'll just stick to the path, go on roaming, staring up at the stars after laying my bedroll at the roadside. Ah, roadsides, bedrolls, and the sky above. I sense some poetry coming on, which of course brings to mind Dandelion. I can remember a night, not too far from here if I'm not mistaken. We hid in a cave while a blizzard raged all about. Does that sound at all familiar? How could it not? we just set off to rescue Ciri from Vilgefortz. Oh, our encounter with Vilgefortz. That is something I do not remember so fondly. But that first stain, Beauclair, far calmer than this one. Seemed like a land straight out of a fairy tale back then. Its sole problem, cellars too small to accommodate all that wine. Appearances, Geralt. Appearances, like Mamoons and Dopplers, deceive. So what did become of Vilgefortz? Killed him. Sure wasn't easy, though. What about you? Any idea where you'll go? Distance is of the essence. I thought I might venture south. Nilfgaard? Why ever not? The Nilfgaardians are a modern society. None there believe in vampires anymore. Hmm. This fact alone could be very useful to one wishing to remain incognito. Hmm. Interesting point of view. I so don't feel like going anywhere. Sit here a while longer? So we shall, my friend. We have witnessed, and in fact on several occasions incited, many great and weighty events. After all that toil, I believe we deserve a bit of a rest. That we do. And there you have it, guys. The end of The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. Now, I am going to roll the full credits at the end of this episode, but 
I do want to go back to my villa, to my vineyard, and see what Regis left me before he had to go into hiding. Let's go look now. Uh, actually, I'd love to go home. And now we can at last go home. I'm gonna drink a, uh, where'd it go? White honey potion and get rid of that cat eye though. I'll fast travel to a somewhat closer signpost, but I want to enjoy the horse ride into my villa. After all, <laughs> I think we've earned it. Hello, Roach. Let's Gideon. go home. Wait, is that smoke? Oh, it's from the fairgrounds. Bonfire. <laughs> okay. I thought that was my vineyard for a minute. It was really close. Oro Bianca Estate. Geralt of Rivia is coming home. A man who dare not down some red is a man whose wife's like to That smoke is distracting up there. Not so fast, Roach. Master Witcher. Some unknown individual barged into the residence. I resisted as best I could, but to no avail. Who is it? Alas, they did not do me the basic courtesy of introducing themselves. I'm gonna guess Dandelion. Or possibly Yennefer. Unexpected as ever. <laughs> and beautiful as ever. Won't you even ask why I've come? Or how I found you? Wouldn't get a straight answer anyway. Quite true. Used to bother me all your secrets. Now I know if you have something to tell me, you'll tell me. Don't need to ask. I missed you, Geralt. Madly. Come outside. We can hold hands and stare at the sky. Like some shitty two-crown romance. Brought quite a few books. Let me guess. Working on a new spell? Not at all. These aren't grimoires, just pleasure reading. The name of the orchid. A widower for half a year. Huh. <laughs> Always thought you too busy to make time for something as impractical as pleasure reading. Because I was. But now, I'm not. A few weeks ago, I awoke to the realization that I know not what to do next. I have no plan. I have no goal. And you know what? I like that. Finally, I can stop thinking about politics and focus on what's important to me. Which is why I came here. Liking Toussaint so far? Hmm. The landscape's lovely and the towns are charming, no question about that. 
bad. But the southern sun plays havoc with my wardrobe. To be blunt, wear black down here and you're pretty damn hot. Hmm. <laughs> Might need to think about changing your color palette. Off-white and pea-green, for instance. <laughs> and I'll wear scents distilled from turnips and daisies. I think I shall simply stay in the shade. And you'll bring me cool drinks. At regular intervals. Bring you whatever you want. You know, feels kind of strange having a home. Hmm, I must say I never pictured you owning real estate. <laughs> Was something of an accident, but I'm not about to complain. Yen, back then, before we fought the hunt, said you wanted to run away with me to the world's end. This vineyard, good enough? Hmm, yes, although there's one thing missing. Namely? I shall give you a hint. It's large, white, has four legs, category taxidermy. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the unicorn. Fine, you can bring it down here. I knew you'd see things my way. Ever thought this day would come? Me and you, peace and quiet, bees buzzing, birds chirping. I almost regret delaying so long before coming to you. I was quite the silly goose. You have doubts? Though I imagine it might have been hard coming after me. Always were proud as a peacock. Please, Geralt. I'm not like other sorceresses to feel that following someone means my wings have been clipped. Ooh, watch what you say about your colleagues. Remember, it's an ill bird that fouls its own nest. Well said, Witcher. You're not only handsome, but wise, too. I feel a bit like the cat that got the canary. Yeah, and I'm... Mm. Damn it, you win. This time. Ha! How'd that start, anyway? Our duels in wordplay. Forgotten. It was out of Vernissage in Bannard. You started it to keep from going mad with boredom. I remember finding your sense of humor both groan-worthy and somehow endearing. Never change, Geralt. I beg you. So, talk again later? Of course. I'm not going anywhere. that my own personal stream too. Love this place. Let's go see what Regis left for me on the nightstand. Ooh, first. Look at those Gwent cards. Hmm, looks like there's plenty of Witcher's work left to do. First, let's check upstairs. No, actually, first, let's check in here because I want to see. Yep, I've got all the trophies. I've got the Gwent trophy. Get my torch here. The Gwent trophy, the fighting trophy, and the tournament trophy. A productive time here in Tassant. Oh, wait, this is my bedroom. <laughs> the nightstand's right here. Okay. <laughs> Letter from Regis. Dear Geralt, if you are reading these words, it means I am already far beyond the borders of Tassant, and you have found my Muta Generator. Of course, you may dub this instrument however you like, perhaps something more fitting to your taste, or better reflecting its function, for I have no doubt your knowledge on the subject of mutagens is far more profound and thorough than mine. I have been working on this device in my spare time, but now it is finished and I am convinced as convinced as an inventor can be before his invention has been used as intended, of the usefulness of this apparatus. Wow, Regis, you are long-winded. You are surely wondering what function it is meant to serve. Please get to the point, my friend. As the name indicates, the muta generator generates mutagens. Well, there you go. It operates 
by absorbing the electromagnetical electromagical yeah electromagical energy waves from bodies in this case the bodies of the monsters and evildoers you kill and when it has absorbed enough as to be charged with a critical amount it changes the stored energy into a greater mutagen which I suspect you will make use of. As you surely understand, I am an amateur engineer, which is why you must forgive the lack of an ability for you to direct this operation. So it's a random mutagen, green, red, or blue. I trust you will find my gift useful. Your devoted friend, your dearly devoted friend, Emil Regis Rohelek Tereziev, Godfrey. P.S. You might be wondering why I had decided to toss the muta generator into your home instead of simply handing it to you as in person. Well, you must know I did it out of modesty. Believe it or not. Take care, Geralt, and may my gift serve you well. Until we meet again, Regis. Until we meet again. And there's the device right there. So guys, there you have it. Yennefer has come by to stay with me. And the kingdom appears to be saved. How might I be off surface, sir? Thanks. Gotta get back to my business now. See you soon. Hold on, hold on. Was it not you who freed the town from the blood gulpers? I'll save here. Hopefully, everyone else from Siri to Dandelion will come visit me as well. But Yennefer being here, well, now that I can get used to. Well, guys, after a months long journey, one that I am very glad that I took my time with, we are finally at the end of The Witcher 3 Blood and Wine. What an experience! What a game! I'd like to do another video on why The Witcher 3 and now its expansion packs remain the best games that I have ever played. For now though, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.